Um, now, the tricky part. I don't know where to post, but I think it would make a topic of debate. It mainly centers around the drama between EBS and Eric July and what my two cents uh, on the subject is like. Okay, repost it from another stream. All right, with the drama between EBS and Eric, uh, I side with Eric because all he wants to do is create a comic book universe and revive an industry that he's very passionate about. Um, EBS, however, and the other comics gate extremists, wow, that's some colorful language, uh, from my perspective, seem to be threatened by Eric's success and want him gone because they can't stand him and other YouTubers coming into the industry and profiting uh, big time. Uh, the comics gate extremists are quickly becoming the very thing that got them pushed out of DC and Marvel. Uh, angry SJWs uh, with a uh, massive chip on their shoulders. Uh, I'm with the Iron Age because they're accepting and kind. They care about uh, getting things uh, out there and helping others with their own projects. And I wouldn't uh, give it up for the world. Well, I don't. I think the comics gate dudes are, I don't want, I wouldn't call them extremists. That's a pretty heavy handed word. I think they're gatekeeping their, their community, right? Like, and they're, and they're gatekeeping so hard that it's kind of making them look like assholes, but that's okay. Right. I mean, th they're only going to grow so much, right? Uh, because they, they only want a very, very specific niche audience and uh and so and they're gonna let you know that that's why they're that's why they're letting you know that like you know people like eric july aren't welcome people like probably me aren't welcome i mean because i and i i mean i don't really care <laughs> i'm not here to promote comics gate i'm here to promote people doing indie comics now if somebody happens to be a comics gate guy i don't give a shit like you know that's that's what it is um and as far as the eric evs drama i've completely tuned out of that i have no idea what's going on with any of that um I, I I've gotten to a point where I've I've muted a bunch of accounts on Twix because I just I realize I realize that focusing on that was believe it or not hampering the chip because because Eric July and Ethan Van Skyver in the grand scheme of a lot of what's going on in entertainment are very very small topics on YouTube and Twitter and I realize that focusing so much of the channel on that stuff, although may garner views, might not exactly grow the audience, right? It's because, like, what am I going to say that Eric and EVS aren't already saying? Like, why would you come to my channel to hear me talk about it when they're already going to talk about it anyway, right? So... Yeah, I thought I... Yeah, I thought I saw that video. You know, he needed to chill, and I agree. I agree. I think that Eric, yeah, no, I, I mean, but I've said that for a while. Like, you know, I've said that everybody's it, it, it basically just decides to be an idiot on, on freaking Twix. Like that's, that's been a common thing for years, right? It's part of the reason I'm not even very active on it anymore. Like I said, I had that back and forth with Ethan Van Skyver uh, around Christmas. And I just realized like, it's not worth my time to go back and forth with people. People want to go back and forth with me here and there. And it's like, eh, no, I'm good. I don't care anymore. I just, I'm done. I'm done. I don't, I don't care about that kind of interaction. I have something totally different planned out and things that I want to do and things that I want to accomplish and going back and forth like that is just hours of time wasted, right? Hours of time wasted. All right. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a major thing. Um, yeah, I don't know about that creative Welshman. Um, I mean, I, 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 yeah, it looks like, I mean, that's what it looks like, you know, uh, at this point, uh, here at Darky Dark, honestly, at this point, there's no point covering it as it's just EVS attack Eric for breathing because why not then repeat every time Eric takes a step, uh, it reached bottom of the barrel. That's kind of where I'm at. It's like, I, I like nothing really interesting is happening with those guys. Hey, hello, my lovely wife. She's popping in to say hi. Uh, Midnight Star Archives, here, here. Uh, I speak just for me, but I am here to learn about indie books. Uh, E-drama is not for me, right? Well, and and I, that's kind of what the live streams are going to be for. That, that's So let's talk about this really quickly. 
because I this is something that I want everybody who's here on the channel because I've been really really thinking about this lately right and it kind of has to go with the last two videos that I did so I have told slightly personal what's going on from what I can tell it's very one-sided EBS has basically made it his mission to pick apart July's every word in action and, and that's fine dude but like okay is that actually a bad thing for EVS to try to make money off of that, right? If he has found that, I mean, if, yes, I could say, I don't, that's not really entertaining to me, but if EVS is making money off of it, I guess go make your money off of it. But then like, I don't need to be a part of that audience and I just go watch some other content, right? <laughs> like, that's the thing is it's like, oh, uh, oh, that's the content he's gonna do. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not I'm not down with that. So I'm just gonna go somewhere else, you know well, I basically copied Welshman. Oops. No, <laughs> that's fine. Slightly personal. What's going on? Like not gonna back eye summer cyber frog because uh, neither overlap with what I want. That's about it See, yeah, Finn and Wolf's got a great idea Like if they're not if they're not entertaining to you, why follow them, right? Why watch them? If I'm not entertaining, why watch me, right? That's the whole thing. If we're going to be on the on the internet like this, we've got to be entertained by stuff, right? No, if it's affecting people's livelihoods. Uh, not if it's affecting people's livelihoods and their mental health. How would it affect their livelihoods and mental health? Like, who is that affect? I mean, don't get me wrong. If you are engaging on, if you're engaging on Twix, Twitter as I call it, uh, or, or tw Twix, you know, anyway, if you're engaging on Michael D, what's going on? Michael D, D, sh Short-term money, yes, but building a greater long-term base of interest, absolutely not. I don't know. Maybe it does, dude. I mean, rage and hate farming is a really good way to gain money, right? I've heard so many times. I've had a lot of people like, dude, why don't you cover this? Like, everybody's talking about this. Why? Like, have you? Yeah, I have. And they're like, what do you think about DC doing this movie? And it sucks. And what do you think about Marvel? I'm like, yeah, it sucks. Like, we know it sucks. <laughs> why talk about it? Like, it doesn't make sense. But yeah, I mean, if they're going to make, um, if they're going to make them, if that's the brand that they want to build, let them build the brand. Like, why bitch about it? Why bitch about it? It doesn't make any sense. Um, <clears throat> no, man, people who show up for rage are not the people who will support your endeavors. Yeah, but like, there's never like a short supply of people who are enraged, right? So they'll show up, they'll probably drop some money for a little while, because we've seen it, and then they just rotate out, right? And then just, well, you know, one rage for, one rage guy leaves, and then another rage guy comes in to be like, oh, I'm mad about this again, too, and here's more money. Like, it, it works. Rage farming works. I'm sorry, why do you think it's been a really popular thing to do? <laughs> like, and here's the thing. It is popular in this niche <laughs> a little andian that's right you do you boo fuck <laughs> off little andian <laughs> redoubt productions are you not entertained yes um uh yeah yeah rage farming you're right rage farming is i'm not disagreeing with you james i never i when did i talk about the culture war here i was talking about people making money and how they're using that to make money like are you kidding me like politicians use rage every day to make money and it is highly effective. I mean, they're also thieves and criminals and they, <laughs> they deserve anyway, but I, no, I'm not talking about the culture war. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. You want to look at where the culture's at, go to the trending tag. Actually, you know what? Let's pull that up real quick. Let's pull that up. I want to go. Let's go to YouTube. Let's go to the YouTube homepage real quick. Let's okay. You want to see, all right, what like, uh, let's go where where is the oh it's different over here on the actual uh there it is there it is okay let's go to trending on youtube right let's go to trending on youtube you want to see where the culture is at right okay this is what is trending on youtube these are the most popular videos on youtube right now okay i don't i'm sorry i don't see eric july or evs getting into this playlist anytime soon because they know what their niche is right right like think about that think about the effect that these guys have some of the time they can get here but for the most part dude you look at at what's trending which is what's popular they're not in here right they're not this is what our this is where our culture is it's freaking ridiculous 
And everybody wants to, and, and, and it's because we put our we put our blinders on, right? It's I follow this guy, so everybody else must follow. Him. No, they fucking don't. If you go and you look on YouTube at what's popular, it's not the people that we watch. That is such a small drop in the bucket. It's insane. Uh, Andrew Rowland for five dollars says at this point, uh, EVS's channel can just be a rage farming channel and he might as well quit making comics altogether if that makes him more money i mean if it makes him more money yeah like that would be the financially smart decision right like why not why not do it it it, it it's it, yes if it is oh i'm out of coffee damn it if it is financially if it makes him more money to be a rage farmer why wouldn't he do it right why wouldn't he go man you know this is a really great thing. Like, dude, people just love sending in the hate dollars. Like, why wouldn't you do it? <laughs> it just, I mean, it is such, and it, it's, it's, it's mind boggling to me to think that doing anything other than the thing that would make these guys as much money as possible. Like, we know that they're interested in money. We hear them talk about being interested in money, right? And so they make that money, you know? I mean, for me, I look at it this way, like <sighs> dedicating my time to doing like the rage bait stuff here on this channel doesn't look like it's going to be the most effective way for me to gain money. Because although, yes, I start to rage out and I do the Royce rants, which I'm on a pretty good Royce rant right now, but I'm not pissed off. I'm energetic about this one. Right. And I realize that the Royce rants that work the best are the ones that are energetic and not so much rage filled. Right. The ones that get people to think the ones that kind of open up the dialogue to a bigger audience. Right. And that's kind of what I want to do, because I have I mean, everybody down in the chat right now, you guys are all interested in so many different things outside of Eric July and EVS. Right. Which is kind of what my channel geared towards for a little bit. But you guys are interested in anime and comics and video games and different television shows and sometimes just funny shit on the Internet. Right. And so I'm thinking about it. I'm like, man. If I have a an audience that is interested in all of those things and I'm all, and they just so happen to be interested in like the Eric July EVS thing I'm like but what if I started talking about all of those other things right to bring in more people so that way would I do my comic shop Wednesdays or you know Iron Age nights we have more people who are potentially also interested in those things just because I'm using oh hey you know I got a bunch of weebs in the chat well weebs might be interested in Iron Age nights Weebs might also be interested in Comic Shop Wednesday. Hey, like, you know, moviegoers and book readers and all these, like, there's such a wide audience out there that I could reach for by just not really talking about Eric July and EVS anymore. I mean, they talk about it enough themselves, right? So why not? Why? Why? And there's enough people talking about them already. That market is saturated with people. So why not try to figure out how to broaden my market and really bring people in here to actually grow the audience to check out more of you guys and what you guys are doing and that's really what's been on my mind lately so the content on the channel will change a little bit it's going to change a little bit but i'm gonna do my best to get to get better right i said that i wanted to bring people here to highlight some of these indie creations right build the community if i'm covering eric july and evs and all their drama i'm not doing that <laughs> 